Flacco Hernandez, you in there? Howdy viewers, Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. As I've said before, I'm trying to get 100%. And one of the ways to get to 100% is you finish up the challenges. There is the Explorer Challenge. And that challenge, you have to find treasure and treasure maps. And yeah, these two treasures are the sketched map treasure and the poisonous trail treasure and that begins with a trip to a cabin to hunt Flacco Hernandez if you have done the four good men and a woman um, part if not, you can still come to this cabin in the north and find this treasure map. But usually you'll find it if you explore the cabin after killing Flacco Hernandez. So let's get on with the first treasure, which is the Poison Trail treasure map. After you kill Flacco Hernandez and enter the cabin, you'll notice a lockbox. And, yeah, I'm just flipping around here. But there's this lockbox right under his bunk. And you inspect the lockbox. There will be the treasure map. You take the map. And, of course, you take the gold bar. That's worth a lot of money and you inspect ooh ginseng elixir that is good too so you got to inspect the treasure map and open the satchel and you take a look at the map after you drink the ginseng that helps that raises your health and you look at the treasure map and this shows a location to where the next treasure map is located and once you put the map away, for some reason it drops, but yeah, you can go to the next location and find the next map. The next map is located in a hollowed out tree in an area and I'll show you on the map when I find the tree. And here is the tree. And you search. And you pull out of the tree the next poisonous trail map. And it leads to the poisonous trail treasure. And then the location for this, and I'll show you on the map. It is right here, and funnily, and funnily, it's called Flacco's Rock, and it's right between the R and the L of Scarlet, uh, whatever it is. But yeah, this is the location for the map, and if you take a look at the map, it gives you the next location, which is actually a location called the Serpent Mound. And it's in the tail of the serpent. So let's get on to the next location. And I'm going to put a save here. Now the next location is actually what would be considered the serpent mound. If you went to a different area, climbed up a tower and looked, you would be able to see the serpent mound. But in this case, the treasure map you are looking for is in a pile of stones and you got to hike up this hill and here you go the pile of stones in the serpent mound will yield the next treasure and you go down you pull it out and you inspect you get a platinum ring which is good 
And now you've got the next map of the Poisonous Trails treasure. And you unlocked Explorer 7. And now it shows you go below a waterfall. And this is the Elysium waterfall. And you got to go through and find the actual... I mean, it's right here on the map where I'm showing you. And it's outside of Van Horn. Again, if you did look on the map, there's a, a serpent mound thing you can find. But now you got to go to the waterfall by the Elysium pool and go under that. Now I'm by the waterfall of the Elysium pool. And I'll show you on the map right here is the player and the waterfall you got to go under and walk through the cave to where you can find the treasure Now, you got to be cautious. Right about here, you have to jump, and yeah, you could fall and die. So, you got to be a little cautious when you make the jump.
Okay, treasure found, and it should be as simple as retracing your steps, right? Nah. Now that you've got the treasure and you've achieved the quest, or succeeded in the quest, even if you die, well, you still get to keep the treasure. So, yeah, getting out of here, kind of a pain. I'm trying to figure this out. Like I said, if you die, well, you get to keep the treasure. And what I'm going to probably do and do right now is, well, stand around. And eventually, yeah, I get up here, and this is where things could go awfully wrong. I'm going to probably put a save into this just in case, but the reality is if you die, you still get to keep the treasure. Arthur is reincarnated outside of the cave. If you take a look, uh, you look at your satchel and you look at valuables. And I'm taking a look here. Four gold bars. That is the treasure. You get to keep that, even if you die. And, well, yeah, it sucks to die, but you still get four gold bars. That's $2,000. Now I'm going to show you the sketched map. The next treasure map is called the sketched treasure map. And it's in a cabin outside of Ansburg. You have to go into the cabin, search around. And that actually is part of 100%. And the treasure map is actually in the chimney. And you pull it down, and you open it up. The sketched map will show you an image of an area by the Elysium Pool and a tree with some markings on it. If you find the tree, it says Elysium Pool 20 steps north and 5 steps east. And that is where the treasure is located. So let's go find this treasure. You ride up this ridge, and the first thing you will see is a tree, but you're going to be attacked by a wolf. Now, this is the tree that is on or in the sketched map. And if you take a look at the map itself, yeah, I got to flip through these things. It's really kind of a pain. Let's see treasure maps, treasure maps, treasure maps, uh, maps, sketched map. Okay. Yep. This is the tree. Now there's specific directions you have to follow. 20 paces plus this, 6 paces. It'll show you the location of the treasure. And I'm just going to walk right to where the treasure is and show you. But this is the tree Arthur is standing in front of. And it's right here. Uh, Kamasa River, right below the R. Yeah, 
Now I'm going to show you the actual location of the treasure. One gold ingot for your troubles. But hey, that's a thousand dollars. And that is the sketched map. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four videos related to video games a week, plus some shorts and specials and you want to stay informed. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and most of all, thanks for stopping by.